think it's recording. <laughs> I don't know. I can't see my screen. All right. Yes, it is recording. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is the training on how to use the um, Zebra Reach in your back office. Zebra Reach, you can create a lead. You can send a um, pre-generate it. You can use one of their templates and send out broadcast messages to your customers, to your um, only your hostesses. You can actually specify. So, um, say, um, okay, I've got 423 customers and 100 of them are past hostesses. So I can come in here and create a contact in my leads for them and specify that they are hostesses. And that way, whenever I do um, a broadcast message, I can send one specifically to my hostesses. Um, there's not really any way to do that from... The con from the customer database because we don't specify when we create the customer accounts if it's a customer or a potential recruit or a current hostess or a past hostess. So I would recommend when you get a hostess you set her up in your system as a customer of course but then come in here and create a lead for her. So you would come in here as a contact and you would click on add a lead. So like say you're at a fair or a festival or a vendor event and you're doing a raffle drawing and everybody's filling out the information with their name, address, phone number, and email address. You would add a lead for that as well. But if you have a hostess and you want to set up a database within your back office where you can message just your hostesses, you would want to create a lead for them. So you add all of their information and then down here you would be able to click host, shop, join, you know, whatever the lead is so that you would know, okay, you want to send out information to your leads who are only interested in joining. You want to send out an info, a broadcast message to the ones who are only interested in hostessing. And then you can put in here in the notes how you know them, where you met them, special things that they like, don't like, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Then you want to affirm that you really know them and then click on add a lead. And then when you are done, you can go back to the home screen and then you can do broadcast messages. Okay, so you want to create a broadcast message. And you have all these little templates here from Pink Zebra. And then this is where you're going to see broadcast messages that you uh, have already created and that you have sent. So you can see I sent this one to my customers, I sent this one to my leads, and then I sent this to my downline. You can also send out a broadcast message to your downline, but the only downline that you can send it to at this point is brought its downline that you have personally sponsored yourself so it doesn't matter what level you've placed them in if you have personally sponsored somebody you can you can send an email just to them from your leads from your um, zebra reach so you would want to click on create a broadcast message so say you want to send it to your leads and you want to send it to anyone who was interested in shopping and hosting Okay, so then you want to click on continue Oops. on one lead status. So you want to make sure you click on active. You don't want to click on inactive, especially for leads and customers, because I don't know. Maybe you want to. I don't know. I picked active. So it gives you a list of everybody who it is, and then you can use this. So say... Um, Somebody opted, you get those emails from Zebra Reach that says somebody opted in. I get this message, I get this question all the time. What does that mean? It means that somebody clicked on your website and has opted in to receive more information from you or from Pink Zebra on your behalf. They didn't buy anything. They simply created an account where they are interested in receiving more information in the form of emails. So you could do user opted in. And this is what it's going to look like. Thank you for opting in with your email. And it'll put what the email is to the Zebra Reach email delivery program. You don't even have to type anything. Um, say you want to send somebody a birthday card and a discount or whatever, and it's Joe Schmo's birthday, and you want to send him a, a code that says 25% off your next order, and it's valid for a week. 
then you just tell Joe Schmo to email you with his order and make sure to include the code Joe, happy birthday Joe Schmo. And then he messages you back and gives you his order. And then you can say, okay, and I'm going to send you an invoice through however it is you collect your online payments. And then Joe Schmo pays it and you place the order for him. Ta-da, bam, easy peasy, done. Happy birthday Joe Schmo. So for this one, I want to do the branded change the subject line based on the content because I want to send one to my leads and I'm not really going to because this will be the third one that they've gotten because I've tried this video three times. So you want to make sure you change your subject line. So my tag, my subject line says new host this program exclusively for you. This is going to be what shows up. I don't want the distributor content to show up because I don't know for sure what it is. So this would be the message. I don't really know how to make it uncenter itself. Not really sure why it's centered. But um, let's go to design. And that would be what your HTML coding looks like if any of you are like really nerdy, geeky. Um, <laughs> I don't know that that's what it's supposed to look like. But this is your preview. This is what it's going to look like when you send it. So then you would hit continue. Okay. So once you've done that, this is the broadcast summary. It's going to, it's about the hostess program. Um, it's going to shop lead host statuses who are active. So there were six of them. Apparently somebody's opted out since my last email. Because <laughs> I had 15. And they can opt out. Don't take it personally. This means just, they just changed their mind. So then you would hit submit broadcast now. And that means that they're going to get it within a few minutes. Or you can schedule it. And you could schedule it for today, and you could schedule it for like 7 p.m., you know, whatever time. And then you would hit Save Schedule Broadcast, and then it would schedule it, and it would go out at the appropriate time. I'm not going to send one because I've already sent one a couple times. So that is basically how you would use um, to create a broadcast message. We have a Help button here. We have generally frequently asked questions, which I found to be very um, unhelpful. But if you click on the help guide, you can click on the words and it will download a PDF manual that you can download and read that will walk through all of the different features that you can use um, in Zebra Reach. And what I've just trained you is just the basic, 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 basic use for um, broadcast messages to your customers, to your hostesses. Um, again, for my customers that have booked parties, I would go in and click on contacts, maybe. It's thinking. And then I would click add a lead, and I would put Rocky Rochelle, her address, her name, her phone number, her email address, and then I would click on that she's a host and I would say she had a party on blah, blah, blah. And then um, I can go back in and I can send a, a generate a message to just my hostesses. And then I would reaffirm that I do know her and then I would add it. And that way, if I decide I want to send out a broadcast message to just my hostesses, it's going to generate and it's going to go just to my hostesses. And that is easy peasy how you use the... Um, Zebra Reach to do a broadcast message. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I will do my best to try to walk you through it. Um, but this is another tool in your back office, so play around with it. You're not going to break it. And if you do break it, customer service can fix it, I promise. So get in there, play with it. Get in your back office and play with things and find out what's in there because back office is for you. This is where you're going to do all your administrative work 
for your Pink Zebra business. It's where you're going to find your images and your logos, and you're going to find all kinds of training. You're going to find past issues of newsletters. There is all kinds of information in your back office. I cannot stress enough. There's all kinds of reports for you that you need to get in there and look at. And you can use these to create a, a sound and stable biz, base for your business. Back office is here for you to help you make your business, running your business a lot easier. So make sure you get in there and play with things. You're not going to break anything, I promise. And if you do, they'll fix it, I swear. So thanks for joining. If you have any questions, let me know.